right then i'm back with another video and this one's a bit weird because it is a really old well at least i haven't played it in a long time it's like a it's called dare dismount if you can see from the title and the <laughs> thing in the top left corner um me and my brother used to play this a lot when we were kids back on our very old ipad model which i'm pretty sure are outdated but um so yeah, this is kind of like a bit of nostalgia to me, so let's just get into it. Uh, isn't there just a basic character, <laughs> Mr. Ego? Uh, he, Mr. Unibrow. <laughs> It looks like a dog. Uh, let's just do a quick play. Okay. Kick him in the butt. Oops. Dang it. Well, that was crappy. Oh, there. Thank gosh, you can kind of zoom out. Dang it, he's not gonna fall down. I'm gonna hit the dismount really quickly. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> he's still going. Well, dang. Uh, select a level. Holiday Twister. Hopefully the audio, um, both the game audio and, well, maybe not, but, uh, hopefully my voice is recording. Kick him in the butt again, right out of Santa's play. <laughs> Dang, you can get hit by a bunch of crap. <laughs> Look at all those bones breaking. And, of course, he fell right out of the line of... Present. Well dang. Hit him on the head. <laughs> dang. Literal downward spiral. We're getting hit by the present a lot more. <laughs> I wonder if you can get a million points on that one. Uh, what if I do it at a much lower hit? I'm gonna do a dismount thing. And that was pretty bad. Hit him right in the back, or let's try it in the foot. Well, he got lucky. Uh, okay, I should just stop doing that and just keep kicking him in the butt. <laughs> and he can't keep it within the line of fire or whatever. Uh, and of course, not everything is free. Dang, I haven't played this particular level in. Okay, break ability. Do he's able to break or something? Kick him in the butt again. So is he gonna break into a gazillion pieces? Pretty sure the same level me and my brother used to play in particular. Uh oh. Dang it, I thought something was gonna fall onto his leg. And we couldn't even see.
dang. This just makes me realize how, how rather fragile um, the human body is. Even if you were to fall like a single foot, or wait, no, a single story, my bad. Like, it would hurt a heck a lot by default. Unless, of course, you land right onto a cushion. Dang, you can break it apart. <laughs> well, that's gonna quadruple the points, right? Hit various pieces. Well, there we go, we surpassed a million points. Well, that's grody. Or wait. Are we able to replay that? The moment when he got cut in half, or whatever, or quadruple. That was the part where it happened. If this is a complete replay, that is. He's just getting ripped apart by that gnome. Dang. Anyway, let's just do another level. Construction site. Oh yeah, we already did that. Uh, rat race. Keep kicking him in the butt. Dang it. What if we hit him not that hard? Dang it. Well, that would still ruin everyone's day, right? Uh. Ski dive. <laughs> Just gotta keep kicking him in the butt. Uh. Not in the crotch, though. I, I don't believe in just randomly kicking people in the crotch. And okay, he just went right through the that's, that uh, Tory gate. <laughs> For some reason, I don't like the idea of randomly punching people in the crotch. Unless it's in, like, self-defense, then maybe, but... Usually, on a usual basis, I don't really believe in doing that, because personally, I see it as a form of SA. That is, if you're doing it randomly without, um, when it's not, like, in a, as a means of defending yourself, that is, and if you're, if the person is only doing it to the person to, purely for the sake of humiliating them, then I don't believe in doing it. Like, purely just to cause pain and, and humiliation to the person when it clearly appeared like the victim would not want to endure it. And it's just another random situation where it's not like out of self-defense. Dang, the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> And he's gonna get stuck. Holding on. Well, he got lucky. He broke a couple bones doing that. Grody. Why do I get the feeling he would have already been dead even before he hit the ground? But then again, what the heck do I know about human anatomy or what's fatal and what isn't? Or he would be barely just alive if right, right before he hit the ground. And he did a split to boot. At least that's an accomplishment. Depending on your view. Concrete result. Then just landing on a block of ice. Not super eventful. 
Dang. <laughs> Dang. Not exactly the one I initially tried playing. I'm pretty sure the average person would fall down the stairs a lot faster than that. Uh, I wanted to do the ledge. And he glitched right through the thing that was somehow preventing him from falling through. Well, he only fell one story, right? Or they did. Dang. Well, that- the camera was just acting out. Uh... Stage fright. Well, that's a melodramatic pose right there. <laughs> that's also quite melodramatic. Tree hugger. I don't know why that's addicting, having to kick him right in the butt. Man, for some reason he's gonna be stuck there. Well, he got lucky. And when is the thing gonna go off? He was about to just barely let go. Downward viral. Keep it not. <laughs> He's not gonna break in half. He, he just fall on monkey bars. Dang, is he gonna get run over for a long time? Or I guess not. There's only a time limit. Well, dang. Well, that's BS. I can't believe they can't break in half. <laughs> Still going. Damn it, camera. Well, that was better than the previous time. The mosh pit, the smosh pit, if you even remember those YouTubers. That this is the one with the awesome song. <laughs> and he fell right through the thing. I'm kinda 
hoping it would last a bit longer. Him getting beaten up by the evil eye. Like that. <laughs> that is one evil eye. <laughs> nope, still going. There we go, that's the extent of damage I was looking for. But the game is stubborn. Yeah, I need to gonna fly over the thing. There we go. Cause I would know something about evil eyes. I'm writing a story about them, depending on your view, I guess. <laughs> well, there we go, he's bouncing around a lot more than I think most people would if they were in that situation. Where the heck is the music? I don't hear it, at least. That has to be one powerful evil eye to continuously bounce them around. Because I think if that were a real life situation, it would be nobody would be bouncing around, bouncing around that much in midair. I think it would be it would be hard to stay still, but I think you would be pretty grounded to that. Characters, a breakability for characters. Titanic level. Screw holding on. What the heck? And he's gonna get stuck. Or not. Uh oh. <laughs> Dang. Now he's just gonna freeze to death. It's a lose lose situation. What the heck was that thing where he was just flung around? And he got stuck. <laughs> this feels a bit too much in slow mo, though. deep dive or dive deep or whatever that's a bit weirder of a way to say it usually i would just i would just say deep dive or most youtubers would <laughs> deep dive into the rabbit hole or down the rabbit hole or whatever however they say it Dang. Champion demeanor. With a bunch of blockheads at the very bottom. Like Charlie Brown, but then not much because he has a very circular cranium and wow, that was rather uneventful. Can 
people are cheering even when he's getting injured. Wow, what good sport. What great friends. He has real fans who are cheering even when he gets hurt. Wow. Grody. Well, he got lucky. He didn't get more damage than that. Uh, probably the downward spiral. And he got lucky again. At least he doesn't have to pay a lot on his hospital bill. Dang, he landed on his butt of sort. Uh, mount, dismount. And he got lucky. <laughs> I have to go back to kicking him in the butt. Keep getting lucky on this mountain. Close to falling. Wow. This is the luckiest mountain in the world. You can't fall very far on it, usually. Uh, the unluckiest ski jump ever. much more points are you given for spinning around with one final hit to the crotch right there he they got this would be a heck of dramatic shot in a movie like one of the avengers fell off their their awesome motorbike or whatever or fell off of that one spaceship that they often use. He doesn't get damaged from the geek when they hit him. This would make one heck of a scene in an action hero movie. That would be, you would have to pay the stunt double a million dollars times one million for doing that. You would have to pay any stunt double a heck of a lot for having to endure any kind of dismount like the one seen throughout this video. Even the one from the mountain. Unmount, dismount. You would have to pay them a gazillion dollars. Uh, pretty sure I just went through all of them already. Abusement park. Yeah, take off point for including the word abuse in it. I don't know why. Instantly, it's just... Mm, e. Not my favorite title for something. Try it one more time with the present one. He always keeps... Going out of the... Falling out of the twister, though. I'm pretty sure it would be impossible to fall right through into the chimney.
and he fell onto the roof of the house. Dang. And into the snow. At least him clipping into the environment actually makes sense. Could it snow? So it makes sense for his body to clip right through the, that stuff. I want to replay that. I thought he was going to get taken right out of the... The, uh... Out of the tornado. And heck, what the heck, the camera just went through. Something odd. Uh... I do that again? Can I play it again? Well, dang. Just taking photos of all this. Dang, you can take photos of the guy getting hit, hit on a lot. photo with that I guess maybe I'll use that for an Im uh, inspiration for a drawing dang it I meant to take a photo of that with a melodramatic pose. <laughs> How come you can only replay it once? Anyway, I think that'll be it for this video, guys, and I'll see you next time, whatever.